What's up everyone, Father Wayne Itachi here, you know what it is, thank you all very much for tuning in to youtube.com slash Father Wayne Itachi, where today we're going to be playing Pokemon Quest, which is a brand new adventure into the channel, this is the first time we're ever playing on a mobile device, we did live stream yesterday, but um, it was mainly like a testing live stream to see what I can do on mobile devices um, with this recording system that I've got on my mobile phone, um, I ended up tweaking it just a little bit. I was messing around with the sounds from yesterday's live stream, and I also ended up getting rid of the webcam. I disliked how the webcam was, I just was not a fan of it. Um, it was a taking, taking up too much of the screen, and it just was not very, very clear. So I've decided, you know what, let's deal without the webcam for now. Keep the, on the top left, you guys get to see that we're live. Yo, what's up, Madden Flips? On the top left, you guys get to see that we're live. You guys get to see how many people are tuning in. On the top in the middle, you guys will see my little logo there. If I click on that, I can pause the live stream, <clears throat> which will end up taking you guys to a different screen. I can also stop the live stream. I can also change some of the tools, which is adding um, a camera, changing on or off my audio, add a brush if I want to draw and do some other stuff, and show live information, which is what I like to keep on there because it's actually pretty damn cool. I can also go ahead and do things with um, comments as well. I can turn them off, but why would I turn off comments? So if I really wanted to, I could click this little arrow on the top right, scroll through the comments that are recent, and also respond to you guys as well. But for right now, we're good. Let's go ahead and get into the game. First time, or second time actually playing Pokemon Quest, but first time actually going through this correctly on my channel. But for those of you tuning in, thank you very much for tuning in. I hope you can hear me, and I hope you can hear some of the in-game sound. I've turned the in-game sound slightly down, uh, because it actually gets taken into effect that the mic on their phone, which is what's taking my voice, is kind of what's grabbing the game sound. So that kind of sucks, but I mean, that's kind of the only way to uh, livestream on a phone at the moment. Um, sounds good to me on both ends. Sounds great. And that's like kind of the only way to live stream on a phone at the moment, unless you have a computer and you want to connect your phone to the computer, just like I would with my Nintendo Switch and stream that way. But that's, to me, that's not the purpose of playing video games on your phone. I want to go ahead and get the cool feel of it, and I decided to just get rid of the camera for now. We're going to restart Pokemon Quest from, for those of you that did tune in yesterday, you guys are witnessing a brand new adventure. I'm going to change it up just a little bit, but I'll keep you guys updated on what the changes are. Um, you guys can go ahead and check out my first very live stream, and if you really want to compare them together, let me know. But I think this is the best way possible to do this. So without further ado, we're going to get through this as quickly as possible because I already know what to expect during this game. And um, this is actually a really, really fun game. And I'm, I'm kind of happy that my computer broke, but I'm, I'm, I'm really not that happy to be honest. But, I mean, it's giving me options to do other things and join in on other things, so it's definitely cool. But for those of you that are tuning in and know about my computer problems, um, I do appreciate your support during these tough times. And I just want to say I got some decent news. I was able to ship my computer today. I sent it into UPS uh, to get shipped across the country into Florida, which you guys know I live in California, and uh, get that shipped in to get fixed. Now, I have to pay for the computer to get fixed, but they were also they were able to take care and the the shipping coverages, which ended up costing them about fifteen hundred dollars just to ship my computer to them. Um, they paid for our warranty fees and all of um, basically shipping and handling. Um, if anything happens with it, they basically got some warranties on it from through UPS. So, oh nice, I'm like three states from Florida. All right, cool, man. Flips, my boy. Are you north of Florida or are you west of Florida, or are you kind of like a northwestish angle from Florida? So, for those of you tuning in, thank you very much for tuning in. We're here to start out and choose our first Pokemon to befriend in this game. Oh, Louisiana, not bad. What the pre-patch did was patch in a ton of bugs. Yeah, it didn't really do too much to be honest. The pre-patch, so I'm kind of in the okay at the moment with not missing too much content i just really i'm hoping to get my computer back before the 24-hour live stream that's what they're trying to aim for and that's what i'm aiming for i hope it's not too much for me to um do when it comes to that computer because i can't afford too much 
but hopefully it's just something simple, um, which I know it's not, so that kind of sucks. But I'm hoping to get it back before the 24-hour live stream, uh, because at the moment, they said uh, pre-patch monk is just... <laughs> I hear you, bro, I hear you. I've actually heard about that one too, about the monks. Warlocks are pretty lit, though. Um, but what I've noticed is they did say once they receive it, it'll take them 15 days to take care of it. And then it has to be sent to me. So I'd say roughly 20 total days, and that is very, very close. 24-hour Pokemon Quest live stream. No, um, I might actually do a Pokemon Go live stream if I can set one of those up. Um, so let's go ahead and befriend our Pokemon. Um, I'm not going to choose Bulbasaur. I am not going to choose Squirtle. Um, Charmander is what I picked last time. Pikachu I'll never choose. Eevee I'm going to choose this time. And the reason being is I want to see how Eevee is going to evolve in this game. Um... So yeah, that's why I'm going to be selecting Eevee. I want to see how Eevee is going to evolve, and it'll give you guys more options to choose later on in this game, and give you guys more involved on what type of, uh, which stone or evolution I go ahead and do, if that is possible in this game, which I don't know about yet. However, I will tell you right now, these Pokemon do have stats, so if you're interested, um, Eevee is the most basic and most balanced Pokemon. Uh, it has 101 HP, 101 attack. Charmander is actually the worst, and I'm, I understand why they did it. He has 126 attack, which is massive, but his HP is 76. Um, I imagine playing Pokemon Go, I imagine getting snuck near an Escalade for some reason. <laughs> uh, my boy Bulbasaur, of course, opposite of Charmander. Really bad attack, uh, but really, really strong on the defensive side with the HP being high. Uh, your boy Squirtle is actually the best right now, I believe. Um, he has a okay 101 101 um, evened out just like Eevee, but I did hear his moves are very very powerful and very very useful. And then of course you got Pikachu. If I can click on you, if you stop moving, please. I'm like trying to click Pikachu. There we go. Uh, 71 131. So Pikachu, that's trash. I'm just gonna say you're trash. So I'm gonna go ahead and select Eevee this time around for those of you wondering, and let's get to it. I'm going to play today until the exact same point that we played to yesterday, so I'm going to try to get through showing you guys around the basics of the game, get through the tutorial, and also just see what we can do. Um, and also show you guys around with the settings and stuff. So Pokemon on Expeditions 1 of 1. This is a tutorial expedition. Pokemon move towards enemies on their own and attack them. You have no control whatsoever of them. You slightly do. You slightly have some control. And hopefully the UI pops up soon, because I don't remember how long this takes. But as you guys can see, Eevee is the one doing most of the work for me. I'm absolutely doing nothing. We cleared one of the waves. Um, okay, now the UI has popped up, so here we go. It's going to now teach us how to use moves. So Pokemon no moves. By tapping the icon for one of your Pokemon's moves, you can give an order to use that move. Um, she, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say Eevee's a girl on my end. Uh, she knows takedown and knows flail. I'm gonna go ahead and start off with takedown because takedown's OP as. I, I sadly don't remember what flail does. And also, there's a cooldown on the move. Flail. Oh, okay, flail is just OP as hell. Good, good to know. Um, so, takedown's great, flail is great. And once you use your move, you can actually tap the button on the right with the arrows moving outwards. And your Pokemon will attempt, it's not attempting to flee, it's just moving out. So that's something good to do, let's say, while you are, um, whatchamacallit, if your moves and abilities are on cooldown. Now, this is the first objective, and this is the first, um, Pokemon that we have as a boss, which is a Rattata. I'm gonna go ahead and use this move ability, which also has a cooldown. On the top right, you guys see check marks. Those are the objective's current progression. Um, one, two, three check marks, and then I've got the boss, which is the uh, the final one on the right, which is the largest one, which is what we're taking care of right now, which is Rattata. And then also on the left hand side, it has an auto button. You can go ahead and click that, and the Pokemon will actually take care of this whole thing without you having to do a thing. Now that's the expedition completed. All of those like red and blue things that you guys saw coming out, those are cooking um, regions. So. You guys will see how those are used in just a bit. And this little user interface right here, you can see Eevee's level 2, HP and attack uh, have risen. Um, my total team's score or power is on the top, which is currently 204. And then you can see the move on the left and the move on the right. Um, we've got takedown and flail. 
and then in the middle that's where you're going to start putting like gems or power stones so power stones are important items that basically make your pokemon stronger and as you progress you'll be able to get powerful stones <clears throat> so on the left we were given a mighty stone for the completion of that which is plus 50 attack and then on the right we were given resources or cooking regions to go ahead and use to attract pokemon to your mini base so which is where we're going to be going to now which is the base camp I'm glad I'm doing this again. It's 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 fresh. It's new, and I had to force myself to uh, not choose Charmander. I really wanted Charmander because Charizard's just OP and cool as. But yeah, so this game's gonna teach us how to attach a stone. Um, but first, this is the user interface. I'm gonna show you what this all means right now, really quick. So top left, you see base camp, which is where we're currently at. There's only two places to be: base camp or expeditions. Expeditions is on the bottom right. I can't click it yet, but you will see what it where it takes us into in a bit. Um, on the left, there's an expedition bonus, so stay tuned on more information on that. <clears throat> on the top right, you see zero. Those are basically your currency. So not a totally about, oh yeah, that's where you, oh, okay, you're not too far ahead. I mean, you're not too far behind now. Um, on the top right, those are like pokey tickets. Um, I forget what they call them in this game, but you'll find out in just a bit. Um, you can earn them from achievements. You can earn them from missions and daily, um, basically grinds. And you can also get them from uh, just basically logging in every single day, or you can purchase them yourself. Um, on to the left of that, you kind of see like a battery. There's a plus sign with a time timer on the bottom. That 4 out of 5 means how many expeditions you can do in this game. Um, once it gets to 0, you can either purchase more with your tickets, or you can wait for that timer to reach 0, and you'll be given an extra charge to your battery. Um, as you guys can see on the bottom right, that's expeditions. Click on that, it'll take you to the expeditions map. On the bottom, you currently see Eevee. On the right, there's a blank blue square. On the left, there's a blank red square. That's where we can go ahead and add additional Pokemon. Uh, on the left of that, there's Edit Team, which I'll go ahead and uh, show you guys in just a bit. And above that is our current team total. On the left of that, on the bottom left, you'll see Pokedex, Quests, Options, and Decorations, which I'll go ahead and uh, show you guys and talk to you guys about in just a bit. So first of all, let's click on Eevee, because we're going to go ahead and put in our first stone. Alright, I already know how to do this. So I'm going to drag the stone into the slot. As you guys can see, the red little signal in the middle of the stone above the 50 means it's a mighty stone. And as you can see, in the middle of Eevee's basically user interface, right here where the arrow is pointing, it has the exact same symbol. So that means you can drop that stone on that. And on the top right, what that was showing me, it currently says off, which is just underneath the magnifying glass onto the top right. That's the Everstone. You can turn that on if you don't want your Pokemon to evolve, but you can keep it off if you want your Pokemon to evolve, just like a normal Everstone in the game. This is basically the user interface for if you want to do um, add stones and basically increase your Pokemon's powers, and that's pretty much it. There's not really too much else to go on here, but I will bring you guys back in just a bit. Alright, so... What's up, Michael Loves Gaming? How's it going? Thank you very much for tuning in. Uh, so next up, we're going to go ahead and click on Expeditions. And I believe it's going to take us to our very first expedition. Yes, okay. So as you guys can see, these are the dungeons, these are the expeditions, and this is all of the journey that we're going to be exploring and completing trials. So this is the first expedition. We're going to click on it. <clears throat> it shows us one of one. So there's multiple stages to this first step expedition. Um... I make Pokemon Quest streams. Oh, awesome, awesome. I'll definitely check you out after today's uh, episode. Um, next up, so as you guys can see, it says 200 underneath the 1-1. That is like a minimum requirement in order to complete this level, especially if you wanted to do this on auto, which is I'm going to show you on this level how that works. Um, we currently got Eevee, and my total team score is 254, so that is definitely above the 200, so let's go ahead and click on that. And then... With that being said, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys, as you guys know, I've already shown you how this user interface works. Top right is where the uh, the check marks are um, for your completion of this trial. I'm going to go ahead and click on auto. Yes, I did restart Barstool. Um, I decided to kind of change the way how I'm going to stream this and video and record it. I decided to get rid of my camera because it was just very laggy and it wasn't the best. Um, I'm currently using DU Recorder. So as you guys can see, I have auto toggled on. I have to do absolutely nothing. And if you have a team 
that is higher than the required um, item level requirement, you'll be good to go. Um, pretty much it'll complete the level for you and you don't really have to worry about anything. So as you guys can see, two check marks out of the three on the top right, that means we've cleared two of the stages of the three, and now we're going to be start adventuring and moving on into the boss fight of this stage. Um, got, as you guys can see, auto is currently toggled on, so the bottom of my screen is kind of like grayed out, so that means I can't click on or use any of those buttons, which means the game is currently playing itself. And then on the top left, you guys can see how many stones or how many cooking regions we have gathered so far. And if I really wanted to, I could pause this level as well by clicking the pause button on the top left. That's pretty much how the fights work in each expedition. And of course, they get more difficult the more you continue on through this. <clears throat> I've already answered it, Michael. DU recorder. And now we're... Ooh, okay. Yeah, it was me off. I was trying to figure out what... I don't really remember this. I'm a, So now I'm going to be showing you after this, I believe, how the cooking works with the cooking regents. And that attracts Pokemon for you guys to befriend. No worries, Michael. No worries. Um, but yeah, pretty much. I'm going to show you guys how the cooking works. And I'm not too sure if it's like a guaranteed thing. But I got some really OP Growlithe last night when I did this for the first time. And I'm hoping to get that again because I'm looking forward to that. As you guys can see, Eevee has leveled up. Eevee has powered up just a little bit as well. And we've also unlocked another stone slot, which now has a heart instead of like a fist. So the mighty stone is not needed for this. However, as you guys can see, we have a sturdy stone, which does have the blue heart, which is what we're going to be able to put in that slot. And then on the right hand side, you guys see all the cooking regions and everything that we got from this level. <clears throat> Alright, so, you, okay, yep, we're going to be able to teach you guys how to do some cooking. Let's go back to base camp. This is exactly what I wanted, because now we can add some Pokemon to the crew. I believe you automatically get a Pidgey and a Rattata. So the stones are like relics. Yes, exactly. Um, let's see. I'm going to check your channel out after the live stream for sure. Alright, so we can go ahead and add cooking regents to the, um the cooking pot and we're gonna move the exact same ones that they want us to we moved in two red tiny mushrooms two black berries as well as one apricorn if you really want to you can click the auto set button on the right which automatically puts a bunch of things into it what's up sylveon how's it going great name by the way and then also there's a, a recipe book on the top but it's currently blank for us because we're just starting the game so we don't really know what to use and, um, yeah, we can also reset the whole thing on the bottom left of the cooking pot, which you guys can see over there. So right now, we're going to go ahead and click the start cooking and see where we go from there. Can't really do too much at the moment because this is the tutorial of the game, so kind of got to deal with what we got. Okay, those are called PM tickets. I was I was calling them Pokey tickets, but they're the same thing. So if I click on this, just this time they're going to give us some tickets so we can go ahead and uh, speed this process up. But what that 0 out of 2 means is you have to complete two expeditions, which is what we just did, in order for that cooking to be completed. However, you can use 10 uh, PM tickets to go ahead and speed up and bypass having to do one expedition. So let's go ahead and gather our 20 tickets and use them right away. And the cooking is done, so this is, ooh, Mulligan Stew a la Cube. I also need to play Pokemon Quest. <laughs> yeah, this is the first time, oh, second time playing Pokemon Quest. And sadly, my computer, my PC broke a couple of days ago, so I've decided to um, move on over to mobile live streaming, mobile games for the time being, while my computer is getting fixed for the next couple of weeks. Just sent it in to UPS today. So it is Pidgey and Rattatat. Um... So sadly, we're going to have to deal with that. I really did not want a Pidgey and a Rattata, but I mean, they're the basic Pokemon and Pokemon. So we're going to have to deal with them anyways. And both of those are now in our crew, a part of the team. And we're going to go ahead and add them to the squad. So let's go ahead and click on Edit Team. I got you, Michael. I got you. Uh, let's go ahead and add Pidgey into the red slot. Let's go ahead and add... Red attack into the blue slot. So now, as you guys can see, our team total has risen to 660. Um, this is pretty much all you can do in this section. You can also click on Power Charms, which would toggle you to the, um, the uh, basically, 
What do you what do you call them? What do you call them? The the charms where you put into the Pokemon to increase their powers. The stones. There we go. Cooking pot is empty. Why not start cooking another dish? You seem nice for a streamer. I like it. So relaxing. Awesome. Thank you. Good to know. So this time we're gonna go ahead and use the auto set button, which is actually pretty damn cool. So, oh, there we go. So we've actually unlocked the Mulligan Stew a la Cube. So ingredients, whatever ingredients you like creates that Mulligan Stew a la Cube. And then the Pokemon favorite uh, food on uh, some Pokemon on Temple Cube Island. I'm from Wales, which is south of England, but I currently live in California, Los Angeles. So I tend to stream late at night, which is around this time. Every single day. I've yet to miss a day in 2018, which is why now, without my PC, I'm now doing mobile gaming. Uh, so let's go ahead and click on Auto Set. As you guys can see, it automatically filled out the slots with a bunch of random cooking reagents. And hey, Florida! That's exactly where I'm sending my PC. I just sent that. I sent my PC from California to Florida today. That's why it's gonna take me forever to get that PC back. But I need it before the 13th. Oh, Indiana! Not bad. Where, where, what are we looking for right now? Oh, Expeditions. That's what I was trying to figure out. So now we have to do Expeditions because we don't have any more PM tickets to go ahead and spam through the, uh, the cooking. So we got some work to do. Stage 2 of um, Expedition 1. So let's go ahead and as you guys can see, my team total is 660. But Stage 2 is 650. So we do have a team that is higher than the actual requirements. So let's go ahead and click on that. This time, I'm not going to auto-complete it. I'm going to actually fight um, in my own way. So let's go ahead and see what we can do. I also just finished my video after so much work. So I'm here and it's relaxing. Awesome. Good to hear. Let's go ahead and turn off auto. And, okay. I got to tell you right now, having Charmander in early, mo in early game was so OP. His fire spin ability is next level. But uh, yeah, as you guys can see, there is cooldowns on the moves or on the abilities in this game, so you kind of have to deal with that. And then once they're all in cooldown, you kind of want to click the moving ability so they get uh, away from the, uh, the enemy Pokemon and they don't get hit. But now they move on in their own, so there's nothing we can really do about this. They just go straight into battle, and uh, it's up to you to go ahead and lead them into victory. And I like this game. It's very, very soothing, very, very relaxing, very, very easy. It's a mobile game. I wish I was playing this on my Nintendo Switch right now, which I do have, but, uh, oh, I know it's not turn-based, it's just auto, auto fighting. Alright, here we go, boss fight, Kakuna with three, as you guys can see, three Caterpies. So, let's go ahead and focus, uh, Flail and Gust. Let's go ahead and move my Pokemon out of the way from harm. Now they're back in action. Go ahead and focus energy, flail. Didn't get focus energy out, that was a little bit weird. But yeah, I wish I was playing this on my Switch, but sadly I can't stream on my Switch without my computer, so. Gonna have to deal with the mobile gaming for now. Let's see, this is almost done. Got just one left, which is the boss fight of Kakuna. I'm gonna have to read up on uh, takedown and flail what the difference is attack-wise. Because I really, I just keep using Flail because it's a secondary move, but you never know. But stage cleared, stage 2 of Expedition 1, and, uh, oof, Rattata and Pidgey leveled up pretty nice there. As you guys can see, they both unlocked another Relic slot, or another Stone slot, and, uh, Eevee is also leveled up in that situation. We ended up getting a Sturdy Stone, plus 64 HP, which is pretty basic, and uh, a couple of Regents for cooking. Alright, sweet. So I believe we're going to have to do the next one because cooking requires us to do two. I am not in the process of modding anyone for chat at the moment and the reason being is my channel is very small and I don't want to have to deal with that right now. Um, but I am looking for mods in the near future if we can continue to grow this channel and uh, get it a little bit higher. So I will definitely keep you in mind. So on the top right, this is where PM tickets, this is basically the Pokemart or the Poke Store. And now we can finally unlock this. So we're going to receive PM tickets 50. This is kind of like a daily thing. You'll see it here. As you guys can see, there's now a timer. There's 22 minutes, 22 hours. So it's every 22 hours. And uh, yeah, 
hope you grow your channel. I sub to you. Thank you. And I'll go ahead and check out your channel after the live stream. Yeah, I don't want to do mods because then sometimes they do things that I don't want them to do. And I don't trust them. But, yeah. I'm trying to grow the channel myself right now. And then we'll go from there. So, I've received 100 PM tickets as a gift for commemoration of the release. And... I will go ahead and show you guys the rest of the user interface more in depth towards the end of this live stream. So let's go ahead and get into phase three. Okay, I do not want to do that. So phase three is 750, while my team is only 670. So with that being said, ooh, you got 17k subs, my G. Damn, someone doing some work. But with that being said, we're gonna go ahead and click on Eevee. Gotta power up my team. I did this yesterday when I played. Uh, let's go ahead and power up Eevee. So there's a silver and a bronze sturdy stone. I'm gonna go ahead and pick up the... Okay, so the silver is definitely better than bronze. I mean, that would make sense. So my Eevee is actually doing pretty good. And adding stones to your Pokemon also increases your team's overall level. I'm gonna go ahead and click on... Sorry about that. You go ahead and click on Pidgey here. I prefer Pidgey over my Rattata. So I'm going to go ahead and give Pidgey the Sturdy Stone plus 59 HP. Also movement speed increase of 15. So that should be it because I have no more stones left. Just go ahead and click on the bottom right, which will take us out. Keep working your way, bro. You will eventually get there. I've been doing YouTube for a while, but this year, 2018, is like my main year where I've really focused on it and want to pursue this. And um, basically, I upload every single day and I live stream every single night. And I have yet to miss a day in all of this year. Shush, fluff me. Alright. So, without further ado, let's go ahead. I believe, okay, so our team total, as you guys can see above edit team, is 700. The first bunch of subs, the first batch of subs you get, it's going to be really, really, really hard. But it'll start to come. I've started to kind of notice it. What's up, Eli362? How's it going? Thank you very much for tuning in. So as you guys can see, our team total is 793, which is much, well not much higher, but it is higher than the 750 that is required for this level. So let's go ahead and get straight into this. <clears throat> I'm actually liking recording. This is my second live stream on mobile, and I decided to edit out my, uh, I'm going to go ahead and auto this one, and then I'll go ahead and play the next one. I want to see how this works out, because the uh, the, the total for this, the requirements, was is very close. So I want to see how easy or how not so easy this is going to be if I put it on auto. So I can kind of judge it later on when I play this game. <clears throat> but for those of you tuning in, while this is on auto, while we get completed with uh, Expedition 1 Stage 3, thank you all very much for tuning in. If you got questions, post in live stream chat or comment section down below. Check out our uh, channel. We live stream 7 nights a week. We upload 7 days a week play multiple multiple games so go ahead and check out the description box down below for more information on our schedule you'll be able to find sponsors of adidas cellucor razor origin pc promix and gt omega racing uh, you guys can take some discounts on those guys as well by using the links down below um, or if there's a discount code it'll be in the description box um, we also have social media of twitter facebook and instagram so go ahead and check us out on that and uh, last but not least, we do have donations. They are not required. If you want to go ahead and support the channel, just go ahead and subscribe to us and uh, share us on social media or whatever uh, to get the ch get the word out there. And last but not least, we also have an about section, of course, which you can find our Discord and website. So go ahead and check all the description box deets. And uh, what's up, Michael? And I'll see you in just a bit, Michael. Hopefully, we'll see you around tomorrow. Um, let's go ahead and see here. This stage is actually taking quite some time. We've only completed two out of the four necessary steps. One more of just a bunch of wild Pokemon, and then we get to go into the boss fight itself. But uh, if I recall, yesterday we just completed the first expedition, unlocked the next two levels, and then uh, we were also able to get a level 13 Growlithe. Oh, of course, Michael, I got you. And, uh, yeah, we were able to get a level 13 Growlithe now again. Ooh, okay, I don't remember this. But why is there a Pidgeotto? Okay, I don't remember a Pidgeotto being a boss yesterday, but I could have just, like, blanked out. So don't don't complain to me. But anyways, we get it. Why is three Spearows with a Pidgeotto? I'd rather see three Pidgeys with a Pidgeotto or 
I'd rather see the Spearows following a Fero. We're like, what the hell is going on here, friend? <laughs> what is going on here? But, uh, actually, I'm looking at the health right now. My Eevee has taken the most damage, but Eevee is in the front of the line, taking the blunt force of all of the action. And, yeah, we were able to take care of this not... It's, it's pretty easy, actually, on auto. I bet, I'm assuming if you cover the, uh, the, the current level requirements, you're pretty much good to go if you put it on auto, so... That wasn't too bad. Looks like we got a blue stone, I believe. I think we. I think I just saw a blue rare, uh, quality stone. So let's go ahead and see if that was the case. Nope, it's just a regular uh, sturdy stone. So that kind of sucks. There's different color qualities of stones for those of you wondering. Bronze, silver. I remember seeing blue yesterday. Uh, everything seems to be going fine. Uh, to, the farther out you get, the stronger the Pokemon. Alright, cool. Let's go ahead and hit up Expedition. Let's go ahead and go into base camp. The reason being is our cooking has finished. Because, again, for those of you tuning in, uh, we just completed the two required expeditions. And we're going to go ahead and get the cooking in. However, this is going to take us to our achievements. So... Achievements are mains or quests or challenges. They're ba they're, you can either call them achievements or quests, but I'm going to call them achievements because they seem to be more of achievements than quests to me. So the first one that we completed in the main section of the gameplay is basics of strengthening Pokemon. So we attached power stones. We're given 5 PM tickets. It's a one-time thing, I believe. I don't think you can do that ever again, but some of them do get harder and uh, unlock additional uh, quests or achievements to go ahead and complete start of an expedition successful island expeditions for uh, we get to recharge our battery with a plus five as you guys can see as I showed you before the uh, the batteries on the top right next to the PM tickets which we have 155 of as you guys can see we have one out of five which means we can only do one expedition until the timer below it runs out it'll recharge our battery by one or Something like this, which recharges our battery by plus 5. Go ahead and receive it. Now we're currently sitting at 6 out of 5. Next challenge. We completed Pokemon Trainer, level up 10 times. We get more PM tickets. Uh, two close range, one long range. Did that twice. Okay, we get Apricorns. We also completed close range team. Go on expeditions with only close range Pokemon. That is true. Fossils of plus 15. And of course, normal type team, which we all have normal type Pokemon, we get the Ball Mushroom. And that's all of the challenges and main achievements or quests that we have completed today so far. And I believe, again, they're one-time things, but I'm not 100% sure. I'll keep you guys posted on that if that changes. So, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys through the user interface as quickly as possible. I've shown you almost all of it, but I'm going to go a little bit more in-depth really quick. So, as you guys can see, top left shows you where your current location is we're currently at base camp if i went to expeditions by clicking on the bottom right it'll change to dun 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 expeditions and it also shows your expedition bonus just below that let's go back to base camp because that's what we're going to go ahead and utilize most of the user interface because it's the same user interface on both uh, maps just to let you guys know however when you're at base camp on the left hand side as you guys can see you get the decorations tool so in decorations you're able to purchase decorations from the Pokemart. As you guys can see, my decorations tab has absolutely zero. You're able to use these decorations to decorate and power up from the background your um, your battling strategy. So, able to put some stuff in your, uh, your base camp to make your base camp look cool. And it also boosts and have different power-ups uh, depending on each decoration that you put down. Top le uh, Bottom left, sorry, you got options. Very, very simple. Player name, support ID. Music, backup, sound effects, push notifications if you want them on or off, uh, legal information, license, support, terms, and support notifications. Also, um, you have to click backup pretty frequently in this game, otherwise it won't save your game. So just letting you guys know, when you finish playing, make sure you click backup. Next up, we got quests. These are the quests, these are the achievements of being main or challenges, as you guys can see, um, there's tons and tons of different main achievements to complete. Some of them I have yet to unlock, which you guys can see here. And then on the bottom, uh, you guys can see the ones that I have completed are currently grayed out as well. Now, I don't know if these are daily, or and I don't know if these are ever going to return. But at this moment, I'm going to take it to say that they're never going to return. Once you've completed it, you're done. Same with challenges. 
as you guys can see, these are the different various challenges or achievements that you can complete. What's up, YouTube? How's it going? Thank you very much for tuning in. And then on the bottom, in the middle, you guys get to see that they're kind of grayed out, so I haven't unlocked them yet. And then on the very bottom, you see the ones that I've completed already. I'm going to kind of say the same thing. Unless they're daily, I won't know until tomorrow because, I mean, this is the first time ever playing. But at the moment, I believe that they're one-time things to go ahead and challenge yourself and complete. So let's go ahead and get out of there. Next up, what else do we got? Pokedex. This is simple, just like every other Pokemon game in this whole Pokemon franchise. You get to see the Pokedex. Uh, you get to toggle left and right on the button buttons. And I currently have Pidgey, Rattata, and everything else is blank except for EB, which is like right here. And then it's only the first 150 Pokemon for those of you wondering. <clears throat> Next up, Team, which to shows you your total team score above that, which is mine's currently 799. I can go ahead and click Edit Team, which I can edit and maneuver and basically swap out any of the Pokemon that I want. Um, current team is two close range and one long range team. That's my current team that I'm currently rocking with right now. Um, it shows you the Pokemon that you use in the middle in this little area right here. And then also on the bottom, it shows you your team total there as well, which is 799. And then of course, the levels of Pidgey being 4, EV5, Rattata 4. And then um, I'm assuming you get a certain amount of slots. Okay, so if I'm reading this correctly, I currently have 3 out of the 20 total slots that I have. And I do know for a fact that you can go ahead and increase those slots by purchasing them with PM tickets. So stay tuned for that. However, there's this training button. I don't know what it does. We'll figure it out. First time here. So training. Training a Pokemon, you can increase their XP or change the moves they know. You will need the help of a supporting Pokemon to train one of your Pokemon. You'll have to say goodbye to the supporting Pokemon once. Ooh. So you're kind of like putting Pokemon or pitting them against each other. You know what? Let's do it. So I want to train Eevee. Move learning. So, I don't know how this works. The supporting Pokemon will leave. Okay, supporting Pokemon. I'm going to get rid of Rattata for now. You can't choose one of your teams. Okay, so I need to go back. Let's remove Rattata from the team. Uh, click on training. I want to see how this works. So, first time. Um, let's see. Eevee in the squad. Rattata in the support. So, by defeating Rattata, I'm going to get about 75% of my leveling XP bar. Uh, success rate 56% on learning a move. I have no clue. We'll figure what that means in just a bit. And let's click start training. Uh, Pokemon can gain XP from level up training. Would you like to start leveling? No, Pokemon that help will leave. Okay. Got it. Oh, that's it. Oh, that's very quick. I thought I actually had to do something there. So, as you guys can see, Eevee has gained experience from this. Rattata is no longer on the team. I really, really could care less. And, sadly, Eevee really didn't really learn anything. But, we'll continue playing this game. We'll learn more. Um, but, I'm bringing you guys back into where we left off with the user interface. And if you guys want to know exactly what I'm talking about right now, please watch the last live stream in this playlist, in our Pokemon Quest playlist, so you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. Or, just stay tuned for our episodes to get released. And, uh, basically, we're talking about the user interface at the moment. We've talked about pretty much everything on the left, basically everything except for the top right and the uh, bottom right. So, let's go ahead and do that. So top right, as you guys can see, you have a 6 out of 5 in like something that looks like a battery. That is your recharging into doing expeditions. And what that means is I can currently do 6 expeditions in a row without having to stop. If I do 6 in a row, within I believe it's like half an hour, every half an hour you get a charge to your battery. Um, if you go to zero, you can no longer do any expeditions and you kind of have to take a break. On the uh, top right, it is your PM tickets, which I currently have 160 of. If I click on that, it'll take me to the Pokemart where you can get collect your daily PM tickets. And it's different, I believe, every single day, which I currently have to wait 21 hours for. On the bottom, I can click on this, which I can purchase with my PM tickets 
No, I can purchase PM tickets and also um, cool and unique items, and these change all the time. So go ahead and check on this. This is where you use your real life money to go ahead and purchase things. And when you buy all three kinds of expedition packs with ball models, you can get a master ball model as a decoration. So go ahead and check into that. <clears throat> Next up, you got decorations on the top. These decorations are what go into your base camp, and they also have unique abilities to them. For example, Mewtwo Arch. It basically costs me 700 PM tickets, and the maximum battery charges gets increased by plus one. So they all have something different to go ahead and uh, give you bonus-wise. Next up is box expansions. Now this is where you're going to increase your Pokemon box, and also your stone box. So go ahead and increase that by, if I click on this, I'll be able to add, uh, you can have, increase the Pokemon buddies. Oh, what's up? Thank you very much for tuning in. Big Vato, Jose. Thank you very much for tuning in, bro. Uh, so this, by purchasing the Pokemon box expansion, increase the Pokemon buddies you can have by 20. Now 20 out of 300. So you can just continue to grind your, um, and increase how many Pokemon that you can have. And the exact same thing for your stone box. And that's pretty much how the Pokemon Mart works. My day actually going okay. Uh, my PC broke yesterday, and I just had to send it in to get fixed, so it's okay. Could be better. And we're going to go ahead and click on Quest, which I showed you guys in the last live stream, which kind of just broke off for whatever reason. I don't know why the live stream stopped, but we're bringing it back. Um, go ahead and click on this. Do level up training. Oh, perfect. So PM tickets. More of them. That's what I always need. So with pretty much the user interface explored and shown to you guys, if you guys did not catch my last live stream, which I just did like less than two minutes ago, again, it just stopped for whatever reason, go ahead and check out that live stream or stay tuned for the videos where I release uh, about more information on this. With our cooking being done, we're going to go ahead and click on it. Yesterday when I did this, oh, hot pot a la cube. Um, this is a new dish, so it is added to our... Um, our lists of dish that we can make and we're gonna get a fire type Pokemon so I'm assuming we're gonna get that OP Growlithe oh full picks of course I'm your friend all day we got a Vulpix it was oh what it's only level 7 I got gypped so hard yesterday I got a level 13 freaking Growlithe and that just carried me through hold up hold up Hold up, what is this? I got a slowpoke. Can I click it? Yeah, sorry about that, Sylvia. On the, the game kind of crashed. I got... I got slowpoke. What's going on? I want to click it. My G. It's my buddy now. It's a freaking derpy looking Vulpix for sure. Dude, I got a level freaking 13 Growlithe yesterday. And all I get from this one is a level 7 Vulpix. But at least I got a level 8 slowpoke, I guess. I can't complain. I'd, I'd rather take two cool different Pokemon than one OP Pokemon. I can level them up. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and level up a team. So, who do I want? I want Pidgey out. Oh, wait, first. First off. Uh, Power Charms. Pidgey, please. Pidgey, let's go ahead and take your Power Charm away. Because I'm removing you from the squad. Get out of here. Edit the team. Pidgey, you are gone. You are off the team. I kicked you out. Um, how many generations does it only has the first 150 Pokemon? That I know of. My Pokedex only goes up to 150. <laughs> um, Slowpoke and Vulpix, welcome to the squad. Let's go ahead and do some power ups. Alright, so we've got, okay, here, oof, um, okay, so I can't put any, uh, any, uh, stones or charms into Vulpix because Vulpix only wants Mighty. My boy Slowpoke, however, wants both. Alright, perfect. Let's just go ahead and click auto set because it's going to put both of them in there. So that's not too bad. Let's go ahead and get out of there. 
sweet, 920, so we should be able to take it. I was, I had a team yesterday, you don't even know, that level 13 Growlithe was oh freaking p It got me to like 1200 team rating just by adding in him. But I just got gypped today. So it's random, I guess. Every time you play this game and start it, it could be very random. Alright, so let's get to Expeditions. Go ahead and take on the boss battle. Yeah, boss battle it is. And this is the final stage, by the way, for the first expedition, which is called First Stop. And our team score is definitely higher than the 850. Sweet. Let's see what we got. Oh, turn off auto, because I actually want to do this. So Vulpix knows Charm. That could be kind of AIDS. My boy knows Light Screen. And, of course, Eevee with the AoE Flail. I wonder... Okay, I need to figure out... I should have read this before we started the fight. I need to figure out how Charm and Light Screen work in this game. Do they work exactly like they do in all the other games and do what their abilities are supposed to? Or... It could be a little bit different. I don't know, but my team's doing bits. Here we go. So Charm does look like it does some damage. Oh, okay, so, okay, Light Screen does work exactly how it is. Okay, got it. Let's just use Tackle then, because we need some damage right now, my G. Vulpix, is, you're just kind of useless. I'm going to say that. <laughs> you're so useless right now, Vulpix. Alright, light screen it up. Bring back the defenses. Alright, sweet. Step two of four completed. Bring up the light screen. Hit up with the charm. Now let's just stay with tackle and flail. Actually, I should... No, I don't want to do takedown just yet. Stay with flail, because we're dealing with AoE right now. When we get to the final boss, then takedown comes into play, because it's just single target, and I don't mind taking damage then, because, yeah, there's only one thing to take care of. Slowpoke still got light screen on right now, so we're kind of good. I'm actually going to refresh the light screen in just a second here. Awesome. Alright, so. Almost done here with step three of four. Continue on with flail. Charm's like the only thing I can do with that one anyways. Alright, so step three of four completed. Wave three of four completed. Got one more to go, which is going to be the boss battle. Let's see how we can go with this one. It's Eradicate. I believe it was Eradicate last time, too. Early mode light screen. Set up the defenses. Hit up with a flail and a charm. Tackle spam. Charm spam. And we're also just going to keep using flail until we have just single target with the boss. Go ahead and take some maneuvers out. Reapply light screen. Flail, because there's still a little bit of AoE action going on here. Light screen's actually a bit OP. Okay, so now that we're single target, I'm just going to go ahead and spam takedown. Takedown, tackle, and charm. Because takedown's really OP attack wise. When do you unlock world quests? In this game? Or are you talking about BFA? <laughs> Alright, so sweet. Expedition 1 completed. That was actually pretty easy. I did pretty good. I did a good, boys. Oh, man. Trash. Dude, I had a freaking great start yesterday. This game, I see so many similar mechanics to WoW. Well, there's no world quest. Yeet discovered the prolific statue. Congratulations, now your Pokemon up to level 5 can get increased XP from Expeditions.
when we defeated a boss, a statue that looks like a Pokemon was left behind, symbols of the island, perhaps, I don't care. Sweet, we have completed. Now we have unlocked a stage 2 and a stage 3. I got gypped on this game though because yesterday's start was so much better than this. Um, I will back up in just a bit. You relax. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and click on quest. See what we have completed. Mainwise, first step, which is the first expedition, was completed. And also, for those of you tuning in, I won't be able to make videos on this for quite some time until I get my PC back. So, just deal with watching the multiple live streams for now until I'm able to edit these out. Uh, back to base camp. And I'm an idiot, just to let you guys know. I forgot to put my cooking pot, so I'm going to struggle now here. But as you guys can see, Mulligan Stu a la Cube is there, as well as... Oh, damn it. Where is it? There it is. Hot Pot a la Cube, which attracts fire-type Pokemon. So if I really wanted to, I can click on... Set it up at Hot Pot, Auto Set, and it will attract some type of fiery Pokemon. I think I heard about WoW World Quests are from Legion and a new patch release. Legion sucks. No, I'm joking. <laughs> so let's go ahead and start cooking that. And hopefully it, it'll, it'll bring us some type of fiery Pokemon. So with that being said, I'm going to double check everything before we do this. So base camp top left, expedition. I'm going to quickly spam through this so I understand everything and I haven't missed anything. We got the prolific statue, as you guys can see, which is a decoration. We're going to go ahead and add it to here. Sweet. And I believe that is... Oh, we can twist it. Okay, no. Please go back. Please face me. And then what does this do? Red button gets rid of it okay go back right there done decorating completed uh, options anything changed we're gonna go ahead and just back up in a bit nothing's changed there um, we pretty much completed the tutorial in this game which is why I am quickly spamming through this user interface so I know what's going on base camp improvement I have decorated plus 5 p.m.s challenges we're good Pokédex, it should be like 5 out of 150 now. I got a lot of work to do. Uh, edit team. Let's see here. So, let's go ahead and do one more training. Get rid of the Pidgey for now. Uh, Pidgey, uh, continue on with in training up my Eevee. So it will almost level up again. Start training. Please choose the move you want to change. Oh, okay. Um, I want to change takedown. But what would it change to is the question. So it's a 56% chance of changing. Holy shit, it changed. Eevee forgot takedown and learned growl. Fuck me. I've just gotten destroyed in this game. So hard. So hard. Takedown is probably like the best move it can learn, but I got rid of it like an idiot. Oh well. Alright, so that's training done. So now that's how training works, as you guys can see. The moves that it learns is random. Um, we don't need to edit team. Any... We got a, we got a stone. Let's see if we can add it anywhere. Eevee doesn't want it. Uh, slow poke doesn't want it. Vulpix, I'm pretty sure, wants it because I didn't put any in you. Yes. Oh, what is this? Weightless zone. I can't put that anywhere, can I? Oh, I can. Oh, hold up. Move weight time percentage. Oh, decreases move. Oh, okay. Eevee, come here. So, growl. No attack, weight is 4, the user growls in an endearing way, making surrounding enemies less worry and often reducing the amount of damage they deal. 
flail. Let's go ahead and get rid of flail's time. Awesome. So the wait time is completely zero, I'm assuming, almost. That is nice. We learned something new there. I'm glad I'm redoing this. Um, battery is full. I'm really not interested in purchasing things just yet. Click on Expeditions. See if anything has changed here. Quest. What is this? What did we complete that I don't know about? Move learning. Oh, do move learning training. Okay. And a challenge. Team strength. Reach a team strength of a thousand. What am I at? A thousand and three? Really? Oh, I can't believe I... Oh. I'm only at a thousand. Is your boy is barely going to push into the next level. Or the next stage, I should say. Well, got some work to do. I've learned a lot about this game today. And I hope you guys have too. Again, check out our live streams. Catch you guys tomorrow.